Hello Virgo! Thank you for tuning into this week's read for the main part of the read using Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. For the supportive oracle cards, I'm using the Akashic Tarot by Sharon Ann Klingler and Sandra Ann Taylor. Uh, the reason I use this as an oracle deck instead of a tarot deck is because there's noticeable differences. I personally think of it as like a tarot inspired oracle deck. I like it. I like this deck a lot. I just think there's noticeable differences. So it's good. It's a good deck. Um, but I use it as an oracle deck, so just in case you're wondering. And there's noticeable differences. Like, there's noticeable differences, in my opinion. Um, Virgo. Virgo. Okay, we don't got a crazy amount of cards. Well, I shouldn't say that. We got like six tarot cards and probably like seven of the other oracle cards. Going into the situation for Virgo, you got the King of Keys. This is talking about you. And I feel like when I feel the King of Keys for you, when you're entering the situation, you're bringing something to the table that really unlocks other things. I know that sounds really easy, but I really think that's what it is. Like, you're bringing something into this situation. You're the key. Like, it's not like you're the key. Like, it's not like you're bringing something, like a physical thing to it. It's like you are the key. You're unlocking some stuff. Um, the situation might need some organization or some or support to the organization that's already there. What does that mean? Like, there's already a list of how things should go and what needs to get done and what order it needs to be done in. You might be that one piece that, like, reinforces that enough so it kind of gets followed. So I feel like that's kind of what they're saying with this. Like, you're helping with that. So it's like you're coming into the situation, right? And then this whole doorway is here. Your connection is caught in the ruins in the in, in crescent moon, which is very... This is almost counter... not counter... Contradictive. Like, the word isn't fitting, though. All right, we'll keep going, because something's trying to come out here that I'm tripping on. Because you've got, like, a lot of good energy coming in. The in crescent moon, I like. Kind of like you see the beauty here, you see how it can go well, you see how you can fit, but at the same time, you're like, <laughs> even though I can see how it can fit and this can be perfect, it's a mess. <laughs> it's like, it's a mess. And it's kind of like, it's like you're walking into a child's room and it's completely all over the place, but yet you see how all the bins could go where this type of toy goes here, that type of toy goes here, the clothes go here, the linens go there. You know, you see what it should be, and you see the potential to put it correctly and get a system going so it stays that way. But it's like, at this point, it's like everything is everywhere. It's like, it's a, it's a total, complete mess. So you're like, yay, what? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, this is good, but well, there's a lot of mess here. Um, this situation needs you. I get that. I feel like it's, it's almost like, Again, if we're going to use that child's room analogy, someone's been trying to keep up with it but can't. And it's kind of like they're picking up pieces and like for every one mess they pick up, two messes are made in their place. So they go pick up one mess and two more messes are made. And they pick up one of those messes and two more messes are made. So it just keeps growing exponentially. And I feel like you're that person to say, all right, wait a minute. First of all, we need to stop more messes from being made. So instead of going and fixing messes and fixing messes, let's first find out what's making these messes and nip that in the bud. You know, at least break that down so like it only makes one mess at a time. So maybe we can clean up two and then there's only one more extra mess. Or even better, 
get that situation shut right down so there's no more messes being made, <laughs> you know, or, you know what I mean, something. We need to deal with what's creating the messes. The problem needs to be dealt with before we start the cleanup. We just can't keep cleaning things up when more messes are being made. We gotta get to the situation that's creating that. And this, it's, it's almost like this is, like, obvious. To you, it's obvious. I feel like you're looking at it like, how do you not know? It's like it's like the when you when the faucet breaks and the water keeps spewing everywhere, turn off the water. Instead of turning off the water, the way this person's been handling it is like they're getting buckets to catch the water. They're they're putting water in this. They're trying to run from the sink to this to that. Like with with the buckets to just like do something with the water. And you're just like, listen, no, turn off the source of the water. We need to turn off the source of the water, and then we can deal with all the rest of this stuff. And they're like, oh, okay. To you, it's like completely obvious and like this is a no-brainer. To them, I think everything got really wild and they just didn't see it because everything was really wild and they just got caught up in this situation. Um, so you're this, it's funny, you, you got Scribe between you and this other person. And I usually think of Scribe as recording things, but I almost feel like you're looking at it like this is what we got. This is what's supposed to happen. Let's look at what's already here. Look what we already have here. Let's deal with this this way. This is how we should be dealing with it. You kind of have this down here. That that's you know stop the root of the problem first. You got that right there. You see that? Let's do that. Um, <laughs> to you, I feel like it's very obvious. Um, this is pulling everything together for them. They got will, wisdom, and mind. Like this pulls it all together for them. This makes sense to them. What how this should be. What needs to happen. They come together. You're helping them do this. Architect is like they're they're actually starting to look at this differently. Instead of like doing all these little things that they're doing, they're coming back to the base, rebuilding the base, and starting from the base, working up. And you're just helping them. And again, I really feel like you're looking at this like that's like to you, it's a no brainer, is what I'm getting. But to them, they got caught up in it. It's just sometimes people get turned around. And they need somebody else to point out the obvious. And I feel like you're looking at this like, well, that's obvious. But you're also helping at the same time. You're not only helping them see it, but you're helping them make that an actuality. You're helping them make that happen. So it's very good. All right, so this this is a process that's going to go on for a little while. Because um, I feel like you might have to drill down a little deeper in more like something here that looks like a base matter. It might be that might be one of the problems. You see like this component is a part of the base. This component is where we're building from and it's up here like it's a part of the tree or something like part of the leaves of the tree and you're like no that's that's part of the root let's put it down here it's like mismatched puzzle piece like it's not a part of the leaves it's a part of the root get it down here in the root let's build from there and that's one of the things you're helping with kind of like helping identify like you're treating that like it's a leaf that's not a leaf to this tree that's a root to this tree that's building this tree that's holding this tree up you got to bring it down here and treat it as a base thing we deal with that first and then that's one of the reasons this person's all over the place, by the way, because they're not, it's not organized correctly, and you're helping them organize it correctly. Good, good. I think I just explained this card. On track. You're helping them get on track. Um, it's not just that they're doing things out of order. They don't seem to understand the order of certain things. You're, they're not seeing them correctly. I feel like this is a person, almost like they're putting a puzzle together, and they're like, oh, brown, brown, brown goes in the root, green, green goes in the leaves. But sometimes there's moss on the roots. So there's green on the roots once in a while because it's go, pop, popping up above the surface. So you're like, no, 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 that's actually a root. I know it looks kind of green, so you're thinking it's a leaf, but no, that's, that's a root. And you're showing how that is. Uh, and you're proving it, too. You're like you're like saying, here's how I know it's a root. You know, This is where it goes. This is how it dives into the dirt. This is how you know here. This is how you know this is a root. Um you're literally helping this person get on track. Things are getting better. Um, things are definitely getting better. But even though things are getting better and you're very hopeful, I'm getting the strength card, like, it's a little bit of a struggle. Um, you seem to understand the situation better than they do. I don't know how else to say it. Because they got the moon card here. They seem to be a little bit, like, they don't understand or they... They just don't see it the way you do. Some people that you're dealing with may believe pieces of the root can be traded with pieces of the leaves. Like if I'm using a tree analogy, like you could like oh 
I don't know. That's we we treat that as a rope. Why don't we just why don't we make this a piece of the leaves instead? I think I'd like it better up there. And I feel like you're looking at that like that makes absolutely no sense. You cannot trade a piece of the root and make it a piece of the leaves. Like that's not how this works. But that's almost like how they're looking at it. Like oh you know I want I'd like this more part of the leaves. I don't really want it a part of the root. And they they they're trying to swap things out still. I'm getting this with the moon card. Like they're still trying to swap things out. They're taking things like that are supposed to be the base and putting them up here, like and it's weird. I don't know how else to explain it. They're trying to put things out of order, but they think they can swap things that they cannot swap, and it's it's frustrating because it's kind of like I feel you're gonna look at that like that that is not that's the best way I can put it. Like this is you can't take a piece of the root and put it up in the, the leaves like that that makes no sense. You can't put that up there. <laughs> they keep trying to do it, and they're just kind of like no. Just that makes no sense. And I feel like you're just trying to deal with it. You do, you you correct them on that. It's part of your thing. You do correct them on that. It's kind of like they don't really like that, but they also see when you correct something, things go smoother. Things go smoother because you know what's supposed to be a part of the base. It's kind of, I'm getting a little frustrated with it, which I'm kind of shocked, but I think it's because I'm connecting into Virgo energy. Like it's a little frustrating, kind of like they don't understand the qualifications for the root. They don't get it. They and they just don't. They, they seem to think you can mix, mix and match things that you can't mix and match. Now, as it keeps going forward, I feel like this is something where they just don't see it your way and they just always want to mix and match. They always keep trying to get away with it or like, well, let me just try it and see if it works. And you're just like, listen. <laughs> you're like, listen. No, you can't. No. You're like, this, it's pointless to try it because I already know that that's mismatched. That's going to cause you take a piece of the root out that's supposed to be there. You make the tree weak and it could fall. Like you don't want to do that. Like you're kind of like that's not something to like mess around with. That's not right. The way this is going is kind of like you got the set, uh, five of swords with the lovers card, and you got the four of forces, which is summer. Is that summer winter? Nope, it's spring autumn. So. The where, where this reading is ending anyway, you're trying to help this person, but you're starting to realize that they're, they create their own problems. Like I feel like the best way to describe this person is problematic. I don't know if I'm really a fan of that word or not. Sometimes I seem to like it, sometimes I don't. But the whole meaning of problematic is something that creates its own problems. Like the more it goes forward, it creates problems. Just something that just keeps causing problems. Um, this person causes their own problems. And now I'm getting hiccups because it's stressful. You're trying to help them. You want to help them. But this card, when I'm feeling the autumn spring come in, you're constantly questioning, is this stabilizing so it can grow and go into a better time? Or is this like the beginning of the end and this person is going to do themselves in? You don't really know. That's why you got the five of swords. It's like the fruitless win. Even though you keep helping them get on track, you're like, if I walk away... I think they're just going to crash and burn. And you're like, I don't want that. But I don't know if I can keep doing this forever. So the lover's card here is like, you care a lot about it, though. And you want it to succeed. I feel like this might be one of those situations where maybe you're going to have to walk away. You give them, you, like, you can teach them as much as you can. You can explain to them why this is the base and why that is not the base. You have to, you can't swap these things. They're not swappable. And then you just have to walk away and be like, well, if they screw it up, I hope they can fix it. Otherwise, it could be crash and burn time. Because the autumn fall to me here, autumn, autumn, uh, spring, autumn, spring, autumn, autumn, fall. I don't like that I said that because that's, that's like the beginning of the end to me. You know, leaves are dying. We're getting ready for winter. Winter's, winter's death. And that's how I view winter. <laughs> it's like it's all dead. Everything's dead or it's dormant. It's dormant, it's rejuvenating, you got me on that one, because if, if somebody's going to put that there. But that's how I equate, you know, the cycle of life. Usually spring is the beginning of life, summer is the high time of life, fall is still good, but that's where you're winding down, and winter is like when you're done, it's over. Um, some people also equate winter not only to being the end and the death, but also the beginning and the baby part, because you can't really, a baby can't survive on its own, a baby needs somebody to care for it. So you could look at it that way too. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a situation where you're going to have to go get to that point where you feel like you've taught everything you can teach. 
and just step back and be like, I've told them, I've explained it the best I can, I can't nursemaid them for the rest of their life. Let's see what happens. That's how it's ending. Okay, it might get to that point. Like, I don't know. I, I, I want like a better ending to it, but they're like, no, that's the ending. <laughs> like, it, it's, it comes to the point where it's just, it's going to be out of your hands. It's either they're going to pass or fail on their own. You've done everything you could for them. Unless you want to live it for them, unless you want to constantly pick up after this person, that's another option. Or you're just going to have to let them like walk away and whatever they do with it, that's their business. You've taught them everything you can. You have to decide. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.